If you haven't done so yet, pause the video and try to answer the question on your own first before listening on. Let's begin with Newton's universal law of gravitation. And in this equation, we have Fg represent the gravitational force. We have a constant. We have the masses of two objects that are exerting a gravitational force on each other. And then in the bottom, we have the distance between them squared. Now, it turns out that we can actually rewrite this law of universal gravitation in a different way. So let's take a look at that. And so the equation takes the same basic form as the one we had just discussed but we've changed the variables a little bit here. So we have we, and that's going to represent the weight of an object on Earth. Re is going to represent the radius of the Earth. And then of course, me is going to represent the mass of the Earth. The little m would represent the mass of whatever object you're trying to calculate the weight for. And in this question, we're trying to calculate the weight for an astronaut. The only problem here is that the astronaut is not located on Earth, so we can't use this equation. We have to adjust it, basically, because he's landing on a moon. So let's take a look at the given information related to that moon. The question notes that the moon has 1 40th the mass of the Earth. Now, that can be written in the following way. We can say that the mass on this moon, which we'll just call x, is equal to 1 over 40, which represents the 1 40th, multiplied by the mass of the Earth. We are also told that it has 2 fifths of the radius. So we can say that the radius of this moon, which again we'll call x, is equal to 2 fifths times the radius of the Earth. Now, with these adjustments, we're going to actually be able to plug into our weight equation that we had just discussed. The only thing is this time we'll say the weight on the moon rather than the weight on Earth. So we're going to come in here and we're going to plug in what we know. Now, rather than plugging in the mass of the Earth, we're going to plug in the mass of this moon, which we just said was 1 40th times me. So we'll plug that in. Again, this is the mass of the moon. We then have the mass of the astronaut himself, so we'll just keep that as m. And then we're going to divide by not the radius of Earth, but the radius of this moon, which is this expression right here. This 2 fifths times the radius of Earth. And don't forget to square that. That's a very important part of this question. Now we have to clean this up, and what we want to focus on are the fractions in the numerator as well as the denominator. We don't want to forget that the one in the denominator is squared. It's important to reiterate that. Now we're basically dividing two fractions and when we divide two fractions we can actually use a trick so to speak that some teachers call keep change flip. So these are the two fractions we're dividing. Again we'll square the second one. So keep change flip just says take the first fraction and keep it the same. Change the division to multiplication and then flip the second fraction around. And now you can pick up your calculator and type this in. And if you squared that 5 over 2, you would get 25 over 4. And then if you multiply the fractions, again, you can use your calculator, or you can remember that you're just multiplying the numerators and then multiplying the denominators. You're going to get 25 over 160. But this reduces, if we divide both the top and bottom by 5, to 5 over 32. So we're going to take the numerical quantities that were outlined in blue right here and replace them with 5 over 32. Notice the radius of the Earth is still squared. We can actually take the 5 over 32 and for convenience we can actually move it to the front of this expression. So let's go ahead and do that. And so now we're left with an expression for the weight of the astronaut on this moon. But if we look very carefully, we can see this quantity right here that we can place in parentheses is equivalent to the weight of the astronaut on Earth. And to truly see that, you can come back to this equation that we had discussed earlier, and we'll put this in parentheses. And maybe you can pause the video and, you, and notice that the expression in the parentheses here is identical to the expression in parentheses here. What does that mean? It means that we can replace the expression in parentheses with the weight on Earth. 
Again, because that expression is equivalent to this one over here, which is equivalent to the weight on Earth. So we're making a little bit of a substitution, and we've concluded the problem. We can actually see that the weight on the moon is equal to 5 seconds times the weight on Earth. So this would be the correct answer.